Welcome to Wadadli Eats. I am Abina Merchant who will be your host and take you on a culinary journey throughout our twin island of Antigua and Barbuda. Today we'll be joined by Chef Nigel from Nigel's Restaurant. He will be preparing for us a traditional Easter dish called Dukana and Saltfish. We're at the beautiful Fry's Beach as you can see in the backdrop. We have 365 beaches, one for each day of the year. So please relax and enjoy our culinary delight. Hi guys, good morning. Uh, my name is Chef Nigel Joseph and I'm pleased to be part of our tourism team. And today we're gonna to be featuring Dukuna and Saltfish. The traditional way of doing Dukuna is served in a banana leaf or a grape leaf. But for those of you who cannot have access to grape leaves or banana leaves, you can use foil. Right in front of us, I have already started to prepare a combination of uh, grated pumpkin, coconut, and pot sweet potato. We're gonna add some sugar to it. We also add some flour, and the flour helps to bind the potato. We have a bit of cinnamon. And last of all, some vanilla extract. Now, we're gonna add some water to a certain amount of consistency. You don't want it too runny, neither do you want it too stiff. You wanna be able to put it in the paper and as soon as it cooks, it'll form into what the Spanish call a patele or a pastel. But Antiguans call it ducana. So right before me, I'm gonna put a little bit in the banana leaves. And I'm gonna fold it. Traditionally, we use a vein from the banana leaves, but the banana leaf has to be dried so that it's very pliable and easy to bend. So, in the event that you have no access to banana leaves, I'll show you exactly how you do it for the foil. Now, you take out about eight to nine inches of foil and you add and according to tradition old people say that you cannot put it on the dull side so you have to put it on the sharp side that's neither here nor there but <laughs> ladies and gentlemen once you try this you will be thrilled at one of our delicacies. Over here, I have a pot of boiling water and you put it, you cook this for about 45 minutes or until hard. In order to save time, we've already cooked some spinach with some eggplant and pumpkin. And this is what we call chop up. So Chef Nigel, you call it chop up because you're chopping it up. You're chopping up the vegetables. Pretty okay. much, that's what it is. Everything looks beautiful on your side of the, the screen. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right. So you have the you have the onions, peppers, celery, and thyme and everything already in the frying pan. And we have here about one tablespoon 
of tomato paste, which I'm going to add some water and um, we're going to form a bit of a puree from the paste and that is going to go in to give a uh, chop up some color. In the meantime, I'll try to remove whatever excess bones I have here from the from the um, linkfish, and old people will swear by their linkfish. Nowadays, you have pollock. Old people will not accept it because pollock doesn't have a skin, and so you we leave the skin on while you cook it, Nigel? Preferably, yes. This way you get the same texture and you're looking for a particular... Flavor. Flavor. Okay. Okay. Now, because of the denseness of the saltfish from time to time, you have to be able to cook it and cook most of the salt out. If you don't, I'm sorry that you feel like you'll be eating the sea. But that's the last thing in the world we want. So Chef Nigel is in the kitchen. As he said, he mixed pumpkin, coconut, sweet potato, a little dash of cinnamon and some water to make a paste. Not too stiff, not too soft. And then he placed it inside of the fig leaf. And as an option, if you don't, if you don't have fig leaves at home, then you can use foil paper. For the salt fish, you have to ensure that you boil it because it's extremely salt strip it up, hopefully overnight if you have the time. He then topped it off after plating with some fresh passion fruit cocktail and you can find our passion fruit locally grown across the island. All the, the vegetables that Nigel used today can be found at our market which is located in the capital city of St. John's in Antigua and Barbuda. So ladies and gentlemen, here you have it. Our Dukana, saltfish, and chop up, Antiguan style. And um, I'm sure by the time you get the recipe and you try this Dukana, saltfish, and chop up for your next Easter weekend, you will remember Antigua. You will remember Abina and myself and the wonderful tourism team that we have available. Ladies and gentlemen, you, I present our Dukana saltfish and chop up. The flavors of the coconut and the sweet potato brings you something sweet onto your taste palate. And then you have the chop up, which is a medley of local vegetables chopped together. And of course, the salt fish, which just brings all the flavors together. And ladies and gentlemen, this brings you to the end of What Dadley Eats. Visit our website, Visit AntiguaBarbuda.com. See you next time.